Hey guys, it's time for the next Disney series. I'm not really sure what to call this one. It's basically the pet or animal friend of each princess. I was really happy when I pulled up Moana because I think that Hei Hei and Pua are so cute. When my sketch was finished, I lightly erased and then I started in on the watercolor. Once the watercolor was completely dry, I got out my gel pens to start tracing the characters. After that was done, I added my title. I hope you Someone like it. in my last post called these Disney sidekicks and I like that, so that's what I'm going to call them now. I mixed up my options and I pulled out Anna, which I decided would be representative of Frozen 1. So I sketched out Sven and Olaf, and when the sketch was finished, I lightly erased and started in on the watercolor. Not too far in, I messed up and it was so annoying, but I kind of fixed it and kept going. And then when the watercolor was finished and completely dry, I took out my gel pen and lined the characters. And then, when the lining was done, I added my title, Frozen One, and I was Kicks part 4. I pulled out Belle, so I decided to draw Cogsworth, Chip, and Lumiere. There are a lot of sidekicks, but I decided on these three. After the sketches were done, I lightly erased and broke out the watercolors, and then once they were completely dry, I lined them with my black gel pen. Then I wrote the title, but I wrote Beauty instead of Beauty, so I had to fix it. Time for Disney then Sidekicks done. part 5. First, I mixed up my options, and then I pulled out Elsa, which is representative of Frozen 2. So I drew this little lizard guy and the water horse. I don't think they have names, but you can let me know in the comments if they do. Once the watercolor was completely dry, I got up my gel pen to line the characters. After the line work, I added some eye sparkles to the lizard's eyes. And lastly, I added my title. I hope you hey, like it. Hey, it's time for Disney Sidekicks Part 6. I mixed up my options. This part always makes me anxious because it's so hard to open. But I got Mulan, which meant it was time to draw Mushu and this cricket, which is apparently named Cricky. I didn't know that. I did the usual watercolor, and once it was completely dry, I broke out the gel pens to line the characters. I accidentally used a sparkly gel pen on Mushu's tail, but that's fine. And then I wrote the title, and that was hey done. Hey guys, it's Hope time like for it. Disney Sidekicks Part 7. As per usual, I mixed up my options, and I ended up pulling out... Tiana from Princess and the Frog, which meant it was time to draw this alligator dude named Louie. He's really big, has a lot going on for him, but I think his character design is really funny. And then this lightning bug dude named Raymond. His character design is really funny too. Then once the drawing was done, I lightly erased and added some watercolor. And then once all the watercolor was dry, I got out my gel pens to line the characters, which always brings them to life. And then after that, I added my title. Hope you like this one. Bye! It's time for Disney Sidekicks Part 8. Here are the seven that are already done. And here's my jar of options. I mixed them up and I pulled out Snow White. Obviously, I can't fit all seven of the dwarves in this little box. So I decided to do Dopey and Grumpy because they seem to be some crowd favorites. When I was done drawing the characters, I lightly erased and started in on the watercolor. I like keeping the watercolor as flat and not streaky as possible, and I think that the best way to do that is to put the color on as fast as you can so that wet watercolor is not overlapping watercolor that is already dry. When I was done all the watercolor, I got out my gel pen to line the characters. And then once all the line work was done, I got out a color to write the title. I decided to write the title in yellow. And then I was done. Hope you like it. Hey guys, Bye. it's time for Disney Sidekicks Part 9. As usual, I mixed up my options and I ended up pulling out Jasmine, which meant it was time to draw Raha and Abu. I like when the characters are interactive with each other, and so I decided that Lumiere from the box to the left, who was a natural romantic and very flirty, would be giving Raha the eyes, but she's not having it, of course, and so that's why she looks a little angry, if you're wondering, but Abu's giving Lumiere the big old thumbs up because he, of course, thinks this is hilarious. Anyway, as usual, I sketched out the characters using references, lightly erased, did flat watercolor coats, Lined the characters with gel pens once everything was dry, and added my title, Easy, Easy Cake. I don't know where I was going with that. 
But anyway, bye. We've made so much progress in the Disney Sidekick series, and now it's time for part 10. Once again, I mixed up my options, and I ended up pulling out... Merida from Brave. The first character I decided to draw was her horse Angus because it's the only one that's like actually her pet. I had a few options of what I could do as the other character but I ended up deciding to draw a wisp which is one of those blue fairy like things from the movie. They're very like misty I guess they don't have like a super solid form so that complicated things but I think it ended up working out pretty good. Once again, I just sketched, lightly erased, watercolored, waited for it to dry, and then got up my gel pens to line the characters. I decided to use a blue liner for the wisp so that the lines wouldn't be as harsh. Since it's a very fluid character, then I added my title. Hey, it's time for Disney Sidekicks Part 11. I did this the other day, which is why I'm wearing the same outfit. Anyway, I pulled out the sticky note that says first box in it, which is kind of like the title box. So I decided to put Disney Sidekicks in it as in like the words because that's the title of this series i mapped out the words underneath and then painted a light purple wash over the whole box and then i took out my gel pens to start actually writing out the words i used a lot of sparkly gel pens to make them pop and then i was done let me know what hey you guys think. it's Bye. time for part 12 of the disney sidekick series three quarters of the way done i pulled out aurora today which means it's finally time for me to draw the fairy godmothers i I asked you guys a few videos back what I should do when it came time for me to do Aurora because it didn't occur to me that I could just do the fairy godmothers but you all reminded me of that and so here we are I'm painting them right now as usual I just did the sketch lightly erased and brought out the watercolors to start filling in the color um, I really like spending time picking which picture I'm going to use as a reference and when I found this one I just had to do it because I think it's such a cute pose they're all huddled up when I went to do the title I had to do it on top of one of their coats I don't know which one's which sorry about that but anyway I lined everything else as usual and then I was done hey guys Bye. it's time for Disney sidekicks part 13 I mixed up my options as usual also peep the new cut I ended up pulling out the paper that says last box which really just means the last box on the page that doesn't actually have a character in it I decided to do the castle and write the words the end in this Disney font that I just showed right there um, once the sketch was done I let erased and mixed up a light purple watercolor to match the title box after that i took out a sparkly purple gel pen to color in the castle then i filled in the words with a black gel pen and outlined them with a silver sparkly one again so it matched the title box and then i was done look at the progress hey guys, guys it's time for part 14 of the disney sidekick series i mixed up my options as usual and ended up pulling out Rapunzel, which meant it was time to draw Maximus and Pascal from Tangled. There aren't a lot of shots of me drawing Maximus because I had to redo his face like three times. It was so hard, but I think I finally like captured his essence, so I think we're good now. As usual, I lightly erased after the sketch was done and started painting. I decided to give both characters kind of a suspicious look on their face because they're usually suspicious of things and don't like when things are different and new so i thought it would be cute and funny they're looking at the characters in the boxes next to them which i love here's the finished product today so i painted part 15 of the disney sidekick series it's crazy there's only one left the only options are cinderella and ariel right here and i pulled out cinderella so it was time to draw jack jack and gus i think these characters are so cute i was so excited to draw them i had to rework jack jack's head a few times because i kept making it too big or too small but i'm pretty happy with the proportions that i ended ended up with. Then it was time to move on to the watercolors. I also think the color scheme is very cute, very warm, 
looks nice. I went for a light yellow in the background because it fit with the surrounding colors. And then I outlined with my gel pen as usual. I decided to go with a sparkly blue for the title. And then once I was done outlining it, it was finished. I love how this one turned out. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, I'm both happy and sad to tell you that today I did the 16th and final part of the Disney Sidekick series. I really love how this all came together, so stick around to see a zoomed out full picture at the end. Anyway, the last one left was Ariel, which meant that today I got to draw Flounder and Sebastian. I love both of these characters. I think they're so cute. And to make it interactive, I have them looking down at the characters from Mulan at Mushu and Cricky. I always mess up their names, but I'm pretty sure I'm right this time. Pretty sure. The pens I'm using here are the new Micron pens that I got. If you saw the haul video I did, then you know that I finally got something to replace the gel pens I normally use. I absolutely love these. You can get them at Michael's and I'm pretty sure Amazon too. Also, don't worry, I know that a lot of you follow me because of my Disney content. I definitely plan to keep doing Disney stuff, so stick around. And here it is, the full zoomed out picture all together.